Hello everybody, uh, how are you doing in this quarantine and crazy days that are uh, beset upon us? So the reason for that video is uh, because there are quite a uh, few people that are asking about the courses, they are requesting information, what the course is going to be, uh, how the classes are to be led, what is the content in it, how the cards are going to be, um, are going to be presented and etc etc so i decided instead of answering every single one individual individually not that i don't care but it is because i don't have the time to do it to just stay seclude a section of the last week class um one card that is explained in there explains in terms of career in terms of relationship how it stands in the spread that we are taking you know every single position in the spread as well explained uh via symbolism explained in a general state and etc etc and just to give it to you as a uh, trailer to the course so at least at the end of the day you know what you get uh, for your money uh, there are to be new groups opened so the, the classes are not closed and uh, if you want to take a participation you like what you see and you want to take a participation just give me an inquiry on my facebook page that you can see in the description down below and that being said, just enjoy the show. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then. Bye. We do have the full card as the very first into the Major Arcana. And uh, I will not bother you guys with numerology and astrology about the card by just saying that the full card represents Uranus or Uranus in astrological aspect and it comes with number zero and this will be the only time when we're going to take a look very closely at the number because many books that you are reading they are saying when, when when you read about the full card they are saying oh a a new beginning right but how the full stands it is that with number zero so number zero in the number uh in the numerical string it sits in between two infinities in between the plus numbers and in between minus numbers. Therefore, the full card uh, kind of like represents the cycle or the time that you are just before the new beginning. And that is very important to be acknowledged. That is just before you start a relationship. That is just before you start a new job. That is just before you get promoted. That is just before you start traveling, for example. So it is just before the new beginning, giving you additional time so you can, um, uh, let's say, uh, um, finalize your plans, make some final preparations, for example, you know, or just make up your mind, if you will. So the full card is uh, like we can see here uh, with this just number zero. It's way more than just starting something new. And under starting something new is very important as well to, uh, to acknowledge that that is a brand new thing. Just to give you an example of it, say a person comes about for reading and says, you know, I want to know uh, if I'm going to meet love in the, in the near future. Now, the, you say you, you kind of like pull the full card and that points just before the new beginning. Right. So that is just before he starts being in love once again with someone else. And immediately that person tells, asks you, is that going to be an ex of mine? No, it's not going to be an ex of yours because the four, once again, it is about brand new beginning, brand new experience, something that you have no idea of at that particular time. Therefore, in career, the four represents new projects that you have not tackled with up until this point. It represents new jobs. It depends on the question. You know, if the question is what I can expect from my work, for example, the full is a clear sign of a new project and new tasks that the person will have a, uh, a experience, a uh, creative chaos in them. Because at the start with the full, the full is very unexperienced card. Okay. And therefore, that person is going to lack experience. So the person will go through a, a creative chaos, through new projects, 
with ability to learn, to acquire knowledge, to improve its, its stance, its standing as well, to improve the impression that he is giving in to others. And one, another thing that it is very important about the full card, it is the rose that he is holding up into his left arm. That is the symbol of purity in tarot, at least. The white rose, it's symbol of innocence and purity, meaning that everything is lacked, lacks premeditation. Everything is unbiased meaning that you can go as far as you can as long as you stick with the civilization so you don't go for things that are unachievable unachievable by our human standards for example you may have a dream to fly but that cannot be accomplished not at least having the full card around so uh once again i uh, just want to repeat here the full it is just before the beginning so allows you to unfold your ideas, right? And it does signifies a brand new experience. Uh, the fool also contains a symbol of a dog here uh, in the bottom left of the card. And many people misjudge that symbol as a symbol of loyalty. That is not necessarily true because the fool is free as a bird or it's rather like a free as an air or a free as a wind. The fool goes where his dreams are. So the fool is loyal to his dreams, not to specific individuals. However, dogs in tarot are symbol of civilization because the only animal in our planet, which is a domestic animal and, and it doesn't have a, a wild representation, that is the dog. The dog is an animal of civilization and therefore it does represent a civilization. Well, that's not exactly true. There is a, a wild African dog, but to tell that the wild African dog is a dog is the same thing to name the guinea pig a pig. It's just as preposterous as that. So with the full card, when you do have the full card uh, and that is about your brand new beginning, say you're reading for yourself, you have to be objective of what can be accomplished at that particular time, career wise and relationship wise as well. <coughs> so let's have a look now how the fool plays out in term of love as we talked about the career which could speak once again for a brand new job something that you will have little clue how to tackle it brand new tasks or a new position that's uh, again you are going to have a little clue how to, to uh, how to tackle it but will give you the opportunity to learn and to improve upon in relationship um, I don't know how to explain it exactly in English, guys, but in relationship, it is like that these very early stages into one relationship where are, there is no much seriousness in between two people that they are just chatting about, you know, they are making jokes and fun of one another, but still they are attracting of one another. It's like though uh, this carefree and lighthearted behavior in between two people. And the full card points that it can go as far as it is possible to go moving forward as long as you keep your dreams and your hopes high. And as we are talking about the dreams and the hopes high here with the full card, I want to make you points of another symbol, which is the mountain. Okay, the mountain in tarot is a symbol of difficulties or of challenges, it is most accurate to be said. So these mountains having it here in the distance behind the fool it means that the the whole endeavor or the whole challenge is not gonna go without having any back seats or having any struggles but at that particular stage you as an individual who is marked by the full card needs to be oriented or kind of like to uh, well how can i say it to remember your goal and to remember your dream and to allow the lights of it to illuminate the path of darkness should you are going to face such from the predicaments that the mountain here could give you or uh, some problems that you're going to face along the way with your new job, you know, with your new task or with your new relationship. Now into an, an existing relationship, the full card represents uh, losing the news in a sense of that, uh, you know, the tension uh, evaporates and now you can become much more playful with your partner or the two partners could become much more playful with one another where they can start sharing a little bit more uh, how can I say it ridiculous ideas with one another things that they have not yet explored but they have now the chance 
to do it so, which is to consolidate uh, their relationship. Let me check if the uh, chat is working here because that is essential. I want you to give me questions when I am done with the card here. Um, yeah, it should be working or at least it's working for me. Okay, so in the very, uh, not in the very first, yeah, well, in the very first position of the spread, which we are going to use, you can scratch this one down, by the way, because that is a, a tremendous spread. I'm using it for everything. And if any of you have ordered a reading with me, you are going to see me using that spread in your reading. It's it's the best spread ever and it's just only four cards and it has everything you need so the very f i will try to make it like this so we do have a four card spread like that okay so like this so the very first card that comes in a spread in that spread it refers to the current situation what is currently the topic what you should focus on at that particular stage okay the second card is going to refer to what deters you, what are the problems there, what is to be the challenge in the such presented question that you are to have. The third position in the spread refers to what is going to help you, what, what propels you forward, what is in your favor, what you should do in order to improve your circumstances. And the last position in the spread represents the ending of the cycle. Now, important here to be mentioned, is that ending of a cycle, it's, it doesn't mean ending of the endeavor, okay? For example, you may date with someone and ending of a cycle for you may represent that this person proposes you uh, a marriage, so it asks you to get engaged and that's an ending of a cycle of dating and jumping into the next cycle if you want to do, okay? Because you may decide, no, it, it's not worth it. So that's also very important to be acknowledged that tarot does not take away the free will of yours. It only gives you the prospects, what you can accomplish if you do this and if you do that. So in the very first position, once again, in career, which is the topic and the current situation, the full card could safely say in terms of career that you are standing on a verge of new things and you have to be excited about it. And the best thing about the full is that you can go as far as possible here, okay? There is nothing unachievable. However, under nothing unachievable, I mean things that are in relation to our current... Um, <clears throat> uh, what was the word? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, civilization, okay? Because you can't become a bird, for example. So everything that you can accomplish, you can accomplish with the full card sitting on the first position, but you have to focus on the goal rather than on what is going to hold you back. No different than uh, back in the days. Uh, I love how Alistair Crowley described that, guys. So what he said is that imagine a boy in the Middle Ages uh, seeing a, a convoy of knights moving through his village, right? And the knight gets impressed by the knights and wants to become a knight. That is very possible because to become a knight, you need to have, uh, you need to fulfill certain duties or to have a uh, accomplishments for the state, okay? Uh, he definitely can become a knight. How? The boy does not concern himself with it right now. The only thing that he wants to do is to become a knight. So he starts playing as a knight and he, he starts daydreaming. And that gives that makes him one step further of a being a knight. Because the mindset for the full card, it is the most important thing that you need to have in order to manifest your goals and your dreams. So for a, a, a career, once again, the full card points at the first position. It is that the subject of the reading is sitting in front of a new things that he is yet to conquer. And it's very important to allow his uh, personal ideas and his personal, um, how can I say it, his personal creativity to shine there because he is to face a creative chaos. Or if the subject is, if the subject is, am I going to find job? I'm jobless, you know, and I'm struggling finding a job. The full card points in the first position that that person should seek where, uh, in a place that he haven't seeked up until now. Like we said, brand new beginning thing that you have not experienced up until this, the, up until this point. 
in in relationship the four card like we said in the first position would signify that now the tension in between the two people in relationship is to abate and they will start enjoying more crazy times among one another or if the person is looking for a relationship the full card points that this person definitely needs to not be that serious and demanding at the start of interactions and the best interactions that he can have as big chances as possible for relationship is in new social circles because like said the full card it's about a brand new things now in the second um in the second position which is what deters you and what holds you back the full card points in term of career of lack of experience a severe lack of experience of what is to come in term of uh, project in term of new job for example the person started a new job and he comes about and asks you know how am i how am i going to perform in that new job the full here points that he first lack of uh, lack experience therefore that person needs to make double time okay and the full restricts of a new opportunities for the certain duration of the reading uh here it's a moment to say that uh, duration of a reading is up from a six months to one year so tarot does not predict for a lifetime uh in term of a new job uh if the person is looking for a job if we do have the full card in that particular position then that would have mean that this person needs to try to revive a place that he have been fired or that he have um how can i say it? he have uh quit on its own accord because the fool in the second position of what is holding you back what holds you back it is the strafe for new you shouldn't stray for new you should stick with what is already established in term of relationships in the second position the fool refers to very irresponsible behavior you know while the person that you're trying to be with wants to see you reliable and someone who can offer a good future you know a stable and consistent future that person just see you as a, a clown as a jester and that should be where you need to kind of like stand your ground and show that you can actually attend to serious stuff okay and that you are not someone who ba bails out for example and that it is a uh, um with a lack of consistency i would say in the third position which represents uh what will help you what you should do and etc etc the fool is actually a very potent card it tells us that while we can keep up with our current things you know with what with our current endeavors and with our current uh, tasks we can also go for a new things so just to give you an example here in term of career while you can maintain your current performance in the uh, in the task that you are currently doing you also can take a participation into a new project you know or into a new class for example into a new qualification <coughs> and so on and so forth in term of relationship or, or if it is about a looking for a job then the full card here points that you have a choice to make you can stick with a, a already known field of of work you know kind of like going for the same job over and over again and while you're going to have success the fool urges you to explore even new opportunities so it kind of like dooms you of having a job but also tells you that if you kind of go outside of your comfort zone, you are going to have a better result. In relationship, the full points that things are not as serious in the third position is that the, the things are not as serious as you make them to be. So you have to be a bit more carefree when it comes to behaving with your partner and, and caring with them. Now in the third position as well, the full card may signify pregnancy because it's newness and it's a birth of life as well uh, so if uh, you read for someone and that person doesn't want to have children uh, i don't know if that's something that helps you you know but it is definitely something that is going to help the relationship to persevere moving forward um, <clears throat> in terms of singles in the third position the fool would have mean that they can be with someone they already know but they can also go for uh, a for entirely 
a new prospects and new people to know as a matter of fact that is advisable because they can be with someone that they know but it's going to happen slower and harder than if they go for someone a brand new that they are yet to get to know uh, with each other and in the last position which is the finalization of a, t of a, a cycle the fool is very similar believe it or not to the world but it is one step ahead of the world um, and when we take the world we will see why but uh, now take it for a pure coin is that the fool at the final position it points exactly that the ending of a cycle and jumping into the next level okay so whatever you have as a uh, as a dream of yours when the fool comes at the uh, at the final position it gives you the opportunity to manifest that dream in the long term though <clears throat> so in that particular case the fool in the last position points that all beforehand all three cards before the fool were just so you can prepare or the subject of the reading can prepare for uh, the opportunity they can start manifesting their goal and their dream which is a new beginning of some sort could be a new relationship you know it could be a new job but it's definitely a about a new chapter into one's life okay guys so now i'm going to give you a couple of minutes to write me a questions that you do have about the fool that you think that i have not covered up if you don't have any questions uh, we are going to move to the next one which is going to be the uh the magician card <clears throat> 